Oh, jeez. Mods, if you want to put it on the poll, will Dr. Mick die tonight? We'll get another prediction going. It should just be a repeat of one that went up last night. Come on! Come on, what? More of them? Spike this asshole. I ain't scared of you. Bring it on. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Holy shit. What a death. Hey, dumbass. Oh shit. Thank you, Ellie. That was huge. Look, buddy. Don't do anything stupid now. Oh yeah? Maybe I will. Don't do anything stupid. You assholes jumped me. All right. I think that's the last of them. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Good. We need to get the hell out of here. You know the drill. Look around, see if there's anything we can use. <sighs> Roger that. Jeez. Hopefully there's not more of them coming. Not entirely sure why we would have been jumped. That really sucks, though, the, the car crashed, because having that car was super useful. Although I think those guys might have rolled up in some working vehicles. He's got a lot of bricks and bottles over here. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, here, I'll throw the prediction down. Oh, no, somebody did do it. Man, you guys are the greatest. Mods are the greatest. Shout out to the mods. See anything? I'm looking, Ellie. Not really, though. Had some canned meat. I mean, I told you I'm trying to flex my acting chops, to uh, Siora. Ah, Pittsburgh. Just where I was hoping to end up. Never been to Pittsburgh. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh shit. Let's see if you can get it propped open with some. Um. Ellie. There's some pretty gnarly stuff in here. Ellie. Right. Okay, go. Shit. I just missed out on stuff that might have been in that store. All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oops. Look. Oh well. Yikes. What is going on in here? Oof. Remind me not to buy shoes from Pittsburgh. Fucking hunters. 
See this killer bear us. Damn, that guy's all initiated. That is a lot of people that didn't make it. I knew I should have turned the damn truck around. We lived. Barely. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, hindsight. Smoke bomb. Oxidized sugar creates a smoke screen that will hide you from your enemies. They ignite with a concussive burst, stunning away, stunning any enemy caught in the explosion radius. Enemies can't see through the smoke and won't shoot at a target they can't see. Use this to escape when overwhelmed or rush while enemies are stunned. All right. Good on shivs. Hard to say whether they were eating people or what. What is this? Tourist manifest. August 5th. Shoes, four, jacket, miscellaneous clothing, tires, miscellaneous medical, canteen. August 6th, shoes, miscellaneous clothing, backpack, canned food, dried food. August 7th, shoes, jackets, miscellaneous clothing, dried feed. August 8th, nothing. Everyone too busy chasing down that crazy chick. Who the hell is that crazy chick? I don't like crazy chick in my manifestos. How did you know? Know what? About the ambush. I've been on both sides. Oh. Oh, wow. So, uh... We kill a lot of innocent people? Uh, we'll take that as a yes. Take it however you want. That's, uh... That's a question that requires a sense of closeness to answer truthfully. Maybe. Hard... Uh, oh, man. Uh, Joel's obviously done some shit. And I'm, you know, Joel seems to be the kind of guy that's willing to do whatever it takes to survive and to take care of the people he cares about potentially even means he may kill innocent folks there's a couple different ways you could spin that right like you could say okay well that's good because that means joel's willing to do anything to protect ellie uh it also may mean that joel is potentially dangerous to ellie hard to say based on what her previous experience is we don't really know but that's a hell of a question for her to ask it shows that maybe there's a level of closeness that she's starting to feel toward Joel and she's wanting to get to know him better. That or perhaps being around Joel is too much for her because he's still pretty cold and so she's trying to figure out what kind of details can help her keep distance. Hard to say. Interesting that Joel admitted that though, right? To say that he's been on both sides. So there's... And... But, I mean, when you got to survive, people will do things that you might not expect them to do, so. I guess this is where the assholes sleep. I mean, slept. So it would seem. Man, look at all this stuff. What is this? Health kit upgraded. Health kits are now 33% stronger. <laughs> Chapter 2. Improved first aid measures in the field. Splinting. Splints are used to stabilize a wounded body part. One, while rigid items are ideal as supports, in the absence of these, rolled cloth will suffice. Two, extend the splint beyond the area to immobilize. When possible, include joints above and below the, in the injury. Figure 1. You can see the injury site. Go a little bit farther. Secure splint firmly above and below injured area. Avoid fastening knots directly over the injury site. Palpate an area distal to the injury to ensure adequate blood flow to the extremities remains. Field medicine and emergency care procedures. So that's useful. Now we know how to make a splint, apparently.
Ah, the classic RPG conundrum. Which one of these doors takes me forward in the story, and which one opens a area that potentially has collectibles? It don't matter. Let's just keep moving. I guessed wrong. We got a nice workbench, though. That's good. That's handy. Let's see what we got. We got a scope now. That's good. That's good. Ooh, yikes. All right. Here's the bridge. That's our way out of here. <clears throat> hey, Ellie, slow down. Wait for me. What? <clears throat> right here. How about you let me go first? Keep your voice down. Okay. <laughs> She's a wonderful foil to Joel's seriousness. Although, again, Ellie has never left the walls of Boston. She doesn't know what's out there. Joel does. So Joel's hardiness is... It's, it's legitimate. Of course he's going to be kind of a hard ass about this stuff. And Ellie's a wild card. He can't anticipate her. He doesn't know her well enough yet. It's going to make him anxious to see shit like that. I'm whistling. Oh, good. Something else he can drive me crazy with. That's awesome. Damn, she's been working on it. Uh, let's see. Do you have any advice for struggling with making eye contact with strangers walking by and struggles with initiating small talk? I feel like I'm too focused on what about a person is thinking about me. No matter how much you focus on what other people are thinking about you, you will never know it. Focus on what you can control. If eye contact is something you want to maintain, force your eye contact to go in that direction. Focus on what you think. Focus on what you say. Focus on reading how they respond to you. You will never know how another person is thinking about you, even if they use language. Unless they explicitly tell you what they think about you, you have no way of knowing. So focus on the stuff you can control, not the stuff you can't control. That makes that makes anxiety go much higher. All right. What happened here? Uh, uh trip went bad. Your fellow hunters do this? Cute. And no, my money's on the military. How would they mow down all these people? You can't let everyone in. <laughs> so they killed them? Dead people don't get infected. You sacrifice the few to save the many. It's kind of shitty. Yeah. Can be. Notice that uh, Joel didn't deny what she said about him being a hunter. And also, these are the red. So, when humans are in positions like this, where shit hits the fan, we see a lot of stuff that makes us uncomfortable. We use our prefrontal cortex to make meaning out of that in a way that allows us to live with it. And you're hearing a little bit of some of the narrative that Joel might have to be saying to himself in order to rationalize the stuff that's been going on, right? Like, for him to say the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. It's easier. You can't, a dead person can't be infected. These are the narratives that you have to engage in in order to make this stuff more palatable because it's not going to intuitively be fine to watch people get infected by cordyceps and be shot down by the military in order to save 
many folks. You do what you got to do to create that. You can use that intellectual capacity to override some of the emotional burden there and make it more palatable as best you can in order to keep surviving. This game is fabulous so far in the sense that it puts us through the tension between vulnerability and survival. We're, we're seeing that that's a dissonant two things to hold together. That the more vulnerable you are, the more emotionally connected you are, the more at risk you are, both of losing folks and of being caught off guard. And so we constantly want things like Joel to open up for this relationship to work out, for people to be nicer, but we also want them to survive. So if you're experiencing any sort of tension as it relates to that while you're watching this, you should be. And this game does a wonderful job of creating that. What happens when the food runs out? Hmm. Do you have a favorite scene in the, so far in the game? The one we're currently playing. Always. Oh that? shit. Oh no. Ellie, get down. Oh boy. You had an entire flock and you hit nothing. I'm about to hit you. Wow. Yeah, you're really upset. Well, if you want some lessons, you know, I'm more than willing to help you out. Yeah, whatever. Oh boy. Well, Bill did say that these are the harder ones to anticipate. They're on the highway shift. Wouldn't be surprised if they cut another batch of tourists. Spot the gold mine, lucky bastards. See if there's anything you can forage while we wait for them. Ain't nothing here. Let's keep going. Okay. Let's see if we can just get past these. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this is not going to be good. That guy comes over here. You don't hear the rustling in the leaves over here. No, sir. You sure don't. Screw this. I ain't waiting any longer. Let's we'll see what those assholes are up to. They pull this crap every time. I swear to God, if they are holding out on us again. Yeah? Then you'll do what? You'll see. <laughs> I will see. Keep moving, fellas. Keep it moving. All right, good. Oh, man. I think they left. Oh, those guys creep me out. Oh, is this city full of these guys? Looks like it. Ain't gonna take too kindly to us, Ellie. We'll get there. I mean, hey, we got to the we got to the city hall in Boston. We can get to the bridge here. Warning, military safe zone. It's strange seeing a checkpoint with no soldiers. Well, this is what most zones look like. This place has been abandoned for a while now. Remove all clothing and wait and await citizen type That's assignment. Rations. Jeez. Follow our instructions during evaluation. Stop feeding us lies. Give us our rations. Why wouldn't they give them their food? Sometimes they ran out. Most times they just held on to it. That never happened in Boston. Trust me, it happened all the time. You were just well taken care of, Ellie. That's why ration cards were such a hot commodity. What is this? Lost Hill Note. We lost Troy Hill to the most ragtag pieces of maggot shit ever to carry a gun. Bastards are cunning, though. They stole one of our mortar launchers. We didn't stand a chance. With this in the strap, with this in the strip district in their pocket, they now control the whole river. Made for difficult retreat, but there's barely half a squad left. I just pray to God that Jeremy and Pam are still alive. They got stranded on this 
on the other side of the river. Damn. What are you doing, Ellie? Come on. Let's go through the checkpoint. Incident security force. Admissions wait until called to boot. Don't mind if I do. Ellie. You'll die before we starve. Warning. Individual stopped without a valid ID will be detained and removed from the safe zone. Hope I remembered mine at home. Oh, boy. Yeah, me too. Just keep it down while we're going through this area. Okay. We're up all night, Yeah, you were a part of that? I heard about it. Yeah, it's worth it. I've never seen anyone so much fucking energy. It took a couple minutes to snuff everyone else. It's fucking five hours to get here. Oh boy. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta earn your keep, right? Yeah, I guess. We're about to give up, and she started shooting at us. It's stupid. We could have got away. I had two other guys keep a busy. I took out my rifle. Ran right through that hole in the crosshairs. Pow. And that was that. Damn. Well, maybe you should have kept her. You know, made her one of us. No, no way. That girl, she'd kill us all in her sleep. Wonder if that's the crazy girl that they were writing about. Yeah, hey, you gonna come over here, Chief? See my gun sticking up here, sir. Ooh, baby. And let's go. I'm not. I don't know where your buddy went. I think I hear him. Oh, man. Ellie, now's not the time to talk. There he is. Yeah, look at the tent. Look at the tent. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> oh shit, that guy saw it. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Didn't know I had scissors in my bat, did you? Are we cool? I'm gonna stay sneaky here for a second. Josh, thank you for the 1,200 bits. My goodness. Appreciate that very much, friend. Oh, man. I did. I have scissors in my bat. I crafted it that way. Crafted it to be so. It came in handy there. All right, something tells me those are not the last guys. We got to go in this building here. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. There's a dude. 
or we'll die if you don't give us our food. Humans get desperate when they're hungry. That's for sure. Oh, Jesus. What up, fellas? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Come on. Come on. Nice and slow, Joel. Bring him down. Bring him down. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Uh. No, no. Shoddy. Let's go. Come on, bitch. You're all big and tough. Holy shit. That's one way to kick ass. Oh shit. Uh, uh. Give me your bat. Got it. You scared? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, God. Over here. Come over here, you little bitch. Just shoot and run. Mm. Oh, man. Your boy ain't got time for games. Let's go. Show yourself. Uh. Where is that guy? Oh shit, where is that guy? Oh shit. There's more. Oh jeez. Sneaking around this entire establishment was probably not really an option, was it? Let's see if we can flank him. What up, bitch? Oh, God! Oh, what a shot. Oh, my God. Ooh. Holy cow. I don't think we're done yet. I think we got to be careful here. That guy's still smoldering. <sighs> Applicant checklist. Pittsburgh Division. All civilians seeking resident status must go through the following checks. Documents check. Confirm the applicant has signed and approved federal application for QZ transfer and is within the stated commission window. Military issued ID. Sir, I'm trying to read. Who saw me? I want to read the document. Oh, get your ass back here, bitch. So many in here. Making a pistol. I hear another one. There's no way we're done here. Boot the shit out of this place. Yeah, this crowbar. Yeah. Come out wherever you are, sir. Where you at? I hear you. I got 
four shots. Ready to go. Hey, upstairs. Ain't you scared to come downstairs? I think so, actually. Fellas, I need your resources. If I didn't need your resources, I'd just leave. I'd get out of here. Right here. Come on, fight this asshole! Oh god, oh no. Oh Jesus! Don't get out of here! Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, fellas. Excuse me. Savage Starlight. That comic I've been reading? That's what the hero says after a big battle. <laughs> Endure and survive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to read the document in a second. I'm going to go tuck my beautiful wife into bed. I'll be right back, chat. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate you. Be right back. Okay. Oh, baby. All right, let's do some scavenging. It's a little disconcerting how desensitized Joel and Ellie both are to all of this death. Damn. Look at all these books. I wish I had more room in my backpack. Oh, so you're a reader, huh? When I'm not running away from hunters and infected? Yeah, I read all the time. <laughs> Self-disclosure is the pathway to intimacy. The more we see Joel and Ellie disclose, the more intimate their relationship will become. That's pretty much a universal truth. The more you share about yourself, particularly as you get to aspects of yourself that you are either insecure about or consider to be vulnerable, little tender spots, you start sharing those with people, you inherently facilitate some level of emotional connection with them. And it will be interesting okay. to see to if as they go through this process of disclosure, if Joel in particular starts to become a bit more stiff as he realizes that it's hurting his chances of survival. Ready? It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. What is that? It's a joke book. No pun intended. Volume 2 by Will Livingston. 
Let's keep going. Bakers trade bread recipes on a need-to-know basis. Need. I get it. A moon rock tastes better than an earthly rock because it's meatier. <laughs> oh, man, that made me hungry. A backwards poet writes in verse. Do you even get that? Of course not. I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. <laughs> all right, I've actually never heard that one. Okay, I'm all joked out. Like that. A little joke to lighten the mood, huh? As we stand over dead bodies. Now, this is a, uh, you might roll your eyes at this and go, okay, Dr. Mick, could you just chill a little bit? But I want to make a point here about how death is kind of like crafted in video games and movies. In the opening scene of this game, we watch Joel's daughter get shot by a military guy as a method of protection. And we are so deeply invested in that, that it pulls on our heartstrings, it makes us emotional to a point that some people stop playing the game after that scene. Yet when we're introduced to dehumanized folks, hunters, and we kill them, we don't think about how there's a good chance that we just killed somebody's son. We don't experience the same level of emotional attachment because we haven't been pushed to invest in that person to an extent. And I think in some ways we have to do that in order to actually be able to make it through this. Because if we don't, if every single one of these guys has a name and a backstory and we start to feel emotional investment, it would be excruciating to get through this. Which is why when folks go through training to kill other humans, they in some ways have to be desensitized to this in the biggest, most profound of ways. So the, Joel's ability to go through and kill all these guys is due to years of desensitization of this type of thing. And that's why we have labels for them, like hunters. It's also why in wars like World War II, there were nicknames for the enemy. It helps dehumanize them. It makes it easier to inflict harm when things are objectified. And we ourselves go through that to some extent by seeing the way that objectification makes it easier for us to kill. I'm sitting down here on the first level going, yeah, bitch, after I blow a dude's head off and shoot a Molotov cocktail out of a dude's hand. And ultimately, those guys are just trying to survive the same world we are. It's very heavy stuff when you really start to sit and think about it. Hey, Bonnie, good to see you. Watching the first part of this game is tough. I can understand why some people struggle with it. I'm reading an interesting book right now that goes into some of the history of earlier wars. Apparently, they've done studies that like only 10% of the guns in the Civil War actually got fired. It wouldn't surprise me at all. Also, modern military means of killing other humans have become increasingly distant, right? We have drone strikes and things like that now that make it a lot easier for that kind of thing to happen. If you look at person, we've gone from basically hand-to-hand -hand combat to drone strikes from thousands of miles away. It makes it easier. It's all an example of the way that our brain can use cognitive overrides or things that go against our emotional sensibilities. That's the reason I bring that up. What game capture are you using? An, Elga an Elgato 4K MK2. Or 4K60 MK2. Alright, this place really doesn't have much. So let's get out of here. Part of it too is they're ordered to take the shot so it's not on the person but their commander. That is not entirely true. 
we do know that ultimately people will say that they're following orders people will uh they will do what people in power say even sometimes against their will but ultimately even if somebody commands you to pull a trigger if you pull the trigger it was your choice to pull the trigger so we can't we can't defer all accountability for a decision like that to leadership we can certainly hold leadership accountable for making decisions and pushing people into that type of position where they are in a uh, vulnerable position that could be exploited by leadership, but we also do have to hold people accountable for the decisions they make. You pull the trigger, you pulled the trigger. Alright, we got shit to read. Colonel McKenzie, Atlanta QZ, sir! Going on 14 months, and this little revolution has turned into a bloodbath. We've lost too many men, and frankly, we're about to lose the entire zone. If we stay any longer, we will all get lynched. Awaiting your orders, Captain Mastro. Where's the last thing I was reading? There it is. All right. All civilians seeking resident status must go through the following checks. Documents check. Confirm the applicant has signed and approved FEDRA application for QZ transfer and is within the stated commission window. Military issued IDs should be examined closely and cross-checked with the central command database. Infection scan. Scan all applicants. Any positive reading should result in immediate quarantine of individual by ushering them to the sick line. Use all necessary force. Note, when separating families, it is important to keep everyone as calm as possible. Any applicants causing trouble should be escorted to administration. Decontamination. All refugees must go through the decontamination shower and be doused with antifungal spray. A physical exam must be conducted with candidates' records of updated to indicate their workability. Security screening. Only one suitcase is permitted per applicant. Personal artifacts must be potential contaminants. If in, no, if in doubt, incinerate the object. Any and all contraband materials, lethal weapons, firearms, explosives, dangerous chemicals, illicit drugs must be disposed of immediately. No animals are allowed inside the zone. They must be released outside the checkpoint upon arrival. All steps must be adhered to. Do not allow any exceptions. Yep, that would make sense, Skog, for sure. All right, let's figure out how to get out of here, huh? Now that we read that note. Hmm, is this not the way? Do we go? Got a firefly pendant. Yeah, they did two dollar, but it was found. The Milgram experiments actually helped make that something that uh, was not seen as a viable defense. I was just following orders. Is not. I don't think holds up. I'm not a I'm not a lawyer, so don't hold me to that, but Found you on TikTok and finally found your stream. Glad to finally catch you live. What's up? Good to have you all here. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. It really helps me out. It will help me bring more content your way. Another three soldiers dead. What's going to take? Give up. Jeez. You got to be crazy to string up soldiers. Yeah, you get people desperate enough, they'll do just about anything. And the people that rose up, they're the ones we've been fighting here? That'd be my bet. Very complicated, right? Military's got power. They've got arms. People stand up to the military. They feel like they're being oppressed by the military. We start killing people who are against the military. Really, nobody wins in situations like this. It's awful.
Let's see where this leads us. No good. Ellie, excuse me. Thank you. Um, the hell do I get out of here? You gotta jump over this railing. Watch yourself on these drops. Come on. <sighs> All right, what do we got here? Hurry up with that plank. Down, 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 down. Get out of here. There's more of them. I think they saw us. <sighs> There's our bridge. We're a little closer. I think. Let's keep at it. Come on. Tree Hugger, what's up, man? Those of you coming along with Tree Hugger, hello, I'm Dr. Mick, licensed couple and family therapist, and this is Game Sessions with a Therapist, where we use games to illustrate various psychological concepts in an accessible way. Tree Hugger's a good friend of the stream. If you don't follow him, please do. Skinny. I hope you had a great stream, man. I thought you had plenty of food in your time. Oh, we did. Some just chose not to eat it. Why the hell not? For looks. That's stupid. I love that exchange because it's such a indicator that your environment matters, right? The representations you have matter. Your 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 context matters in the way that you filter information. You and I would look at this and go, yeah, we see this shit all the time. Ellie looks at this and goes, that makes absolutely zero sense based on everything I've seen in my life. And Perspective varies based on what you've learned, both experientially and through what's been represented to you. And Joel and Ellie have very different representations based on what they learned and the time they came from. Death for freedom, out of options. For about 20 years post-apocalypse, for to answer your question, Vapoas. Okay. It's time to lighten the mood. Again? Okay. 3.14% of sailors are pirates. <laughs> 3.14. I stayed up all night wondering where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Oh, I get it. What did the mermaid wear to her math class? What? An algebra. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Why did the scarecrow get a promotion? All right. Because he was outstanding in his field. That'll do. Put that thing away. All right, I'm done. For now. <laughs> Humor is a great bonding exercise as well. People actually can sometimes form intimate connection via humor. One of the easiest ways to form a connection with somebody early on is if you register that they have a similar sense of humor to you. There's a theory out there that laughter is the recognition of something that could have been dangerous but isn't. It doesn't necessarily apply to these dad jokes, so to speak. But there is a survival mechanism in terms of bonding via humor. So us seeing these shared moments of laughter is a facilitation of intimacy and connection between Joel and Ellie. That's why many people will often list sense of humor as a thing that they are attracted to by another person. 
for that they're looking for in a partner or a partner. There we go. <sighs> and I would say that memes is a modern form of that, King, that uh, memes actually, what's kind of interesting is we're, we're in a position where oftentimes it's not the person who makes the meme, but the person who finds the right meme to share that is perceived as being the funniest. Dark humor is the same way. It's a way to, it, I mean, there's a common definition of humor, which is that it's just tragedy plus time. Dark humor probably applies in that way. All right, what do we got here? Mother's letter. Oh, boy. My son. My little boy. I buried him today. What did he do? Join a protest? And now they're labeling him a traitor. Fine. I'll show them what a traitor does. I've joined them, the rebels, the rioters. They gave me a gun, some bullets, and a mission. I won't survive this, but neither will they. How many other fathers and mothers like me are out there? It's only a matter of time before the city falls. Let's go knock out the first brick. Eva. Damn. Ironman, thank you so much for the raid. No one wins. Really, Joel? A woman who went out to avenge her son's death? You, you disagree with that? Given that that's basically how you've lived your life the last 20 years to an extent? Those of you coming along with Iron Man, hello, I'm Dr. Mick, licensed couple and family therapist. I got a PhD in human development. This is Game Sessions with a Therapist, where we play cool games and use them to illustrate various psychological concepts. We are doing a spoiler-free run of The Last of Us, so please do not post any spoilers in chat. Anything that sniffs like a spoiler will be removed, and you may be timed out or even banned. Has anybody ever told you that you look a bit like Michael Keaton? No. You are quite literally the first person to say that to me. I can't make that jump. If you get me up there, I can move that plank. Maybe in my youth, I could get up there and make that jump. What do we got over here? How'd that fish get in here? Oh, shit. Oh, man. These guys have some real serious firepower here. Who's coming, Ellie? That all about. Get on. We're coming to the hotel. Um. Okay. Oh, easy. Don't worry, I ain't gonna drop you. <clears throat> Up you go. Set up that plank like they did. Oh boy, I gotta leave her alone. All right. Working on it. Let's go downstairs and then come back up here. All good, Iron Man. Thank you for the raid. Really appreciate it. Hmm. Oh, this place stinks. Yeah, woods all run. Did you go to coffee shops a lot? I did. All the time. And what would you get? Just, just coffee.
Make another shiv. Make a bomb, even though I don't really use them. And... Alright, let's go... Upstairs. Your thoughts on BetterHelp? I've never used it. I know people who have. I've heard some people have really good experiences. I've had other people say they had terrible experiences. And then some that have said it was just kind of whatever. Very similar to finding a real therapist in the sense that, like, if it's not a good match, it's probably not going to work well. But I am not paid by them. I don't have any investment in that company at all. So I do not endorse or... Um, whatever the opposite of endorse is. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but... I'm not anti better help, but I'm also not pro better help. Condemn, thank you. All right. It goes down tonight. We're going to take the Eastern checkpoint. I've stashed some extra supplies at the Regal Apartments. It's marked with a red X. That's where we are. Gimme, give gimme. Give Alrighty. Easy peasy. Do you think those hunters are gone? I'm about to find out. I sure hope so, Ellie. It's clear, Ellie. Come on down. You ever stayed at a place like this? Before it all went to shit on me? I think Joel's reticence there is understandable given the fact that Ellie keeps asking him a bunch of questions. If Ellie keeps asking him questions about the time before this all happened, he has to remember two things. One, a world that is no longer in existence, and two, a world that included his daughter. And he may be willing to answer a couple of these questions, but I think the closer he gets to that, uh, the harder it's going to be for him. Because again, this is all a facilitation of intimacy. Talking about these moments prior to are going to probably bring out a plethora of emotions. Disappointment that the world is no longer like that. It may bring about the guilt narrative that he tells himself as it relates to survivor's guilt. You know, I was alive during that time, but I'm also alive during this time. It may bring up a sense of sadness that Ellie never got to experience that, though I doubt that. But it may also remind him that there were things that he used to experience with a person that is roughly the same age as this person that he's with that he hasn't had to think about in 20 years. And answering those questions directly requires him to rack his brain, potentially go through a series of memories that he no longer wants to have uh, at the forefront because it's too difficult and he doesn't have anybody to connect with and confide in as it relates to it. So you'll notice he doesn't answer there. Not really. No, this is too rich for my blood. I bet it was nice. I bet we can get up there. Oh, I really miss coffee. I probably would too if I hadn't had it in like 20 years. anybody in chat who doesn't know what's been going on in the game there was a cordyceps fungus with a human variant that basically takes control of the host and makes them go crazy it it spreads really rapidly people become super aggressive very hard to contain and 20 years ago there was a massive outbreak and basically sent everything to shit Hmm. Where would I benefit from placing this ladder? Perhaps here? I'm creating these games. Do they have a therapist consultant? There's a chance that they do. I'm not sure whether Naughty Dog consulted any psychologists, but I gotta believe that they, they do. I, I think psyche is an important part of character development. 
It's honestly something that like if a game creator like Naughty Dog or Bioware or somebody reached out to me and said, hey, oh, we'd love to have a therapist that would help us, that understands relationships and interactional dynamics. We'd love to consult with you to make sure that what we're creating is realistic. And also we want to figure out what to anticipate given the themes that we have in the game. I would love to do that. So game devs, if you're watching, I'm down to help. Just reach out to me for one night and i would like your fine of sweet please what the hell are you doing <gasps> why yes you can take my luggage upstairs <laughs> you are a weird kid she's just having fun with it she's making the most of the situation joel you probably haven't uh accessed that in a long long time all right eat a code Whatever would the combination be? Excuse me, Ellie. Excuse me. Thank you. Hmm. I suppose there's probably something around here that's got it. Why else would they tell me that I need the combination? Probably one, two, three, four, five. I always assume the combination that's on my luggage is what's used for these things. Hmm. to be something around here, right? If I was the combination to a safe that's been derelict for 20 years and I was written down somewhere, where would I be? Let's see. Ellie, if you see something, you let me know, all right? Gears up here. Hmm. <clears throat> Congratulations, Jugger. I'm proud of you, buddy. Hmm. It's probably one of those things that's super obvious. Is, I don't think I can get up there. I don't think the ladder's tall enough. Yeah, it's not. Hmm. I haven't seen anything fishy. What the? Like. I know what you're thinking. Dr. Mick, haven't you played this before? All these clocks stop at different times. I don't know that the clocks have anything to do with it. Hmm. Tree Hugger, thank you for the 29 months, buddy. It's a long time. I really appreciate it, man. Shit, man. I I legitimately forgot where this is.
I don't think it has anything to do with the clocks. There's got to be some sort of artifact laying around here somewhere that I just haven't found. Probably up there. Maybe. Grab this ladder and check. Be kind of ridiculous if it is. What's up here? Anything? Nope. Nothing. Neat. Ellie. God damn. She is literally always in the wrong place. <laughs> Alright, I'm not going to waste too much time on this. Ah, that's pretty cheeky, Jugger. Pretty cheeky. God, I'm usually pretty good at finding this kind of stuff. All right, we're going to go up there and see. No, no, jolt, 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 jolt. Put it down. Although I don't know that I can go in here. I don't have a hard hat. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully, OSHA 2033 doesn't come after me. What's this? Note to staff. Hey, to all staff, the combination for the security safe for the hotel guest valuables has changed. The new combination is 221056. There it is. I know, Sior. I gotta do better, man. I just gotta do better. That's that's really how it goes. All right. Thanks for bearing with me through that. Let's go open that safe, and then let's get the hell out of here. Your boy is over this. Fox would have been clever. I agree, but it wouldn't have made sense. Easy peasy. Don't even have to put the code in. Shiv's upgraded. Shift last two hits longer. Yeah, that was worth it. That was absolutely worth it. Just lying there randomly in that suitcase lasted 20 years. Thank God. Thank God it was written on non-perishable paper, you know? I think we could use some good old pun humor. All right. Hit me, Ellie. I tried to catch some fog earlier. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's not right? Left. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. What does a pirate say while eating sushi? I don't know what. Ahoy, pass me some soy. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't People like that People are one. making apocalypse jokes like there's no tomorrow. Too soon. Okay, I'm all joked out. Now what? Watch your step. Alrighty. Oh. Get down, get down. How many is that now? Mm. Right, just this week. Hey, I'm not complaining. I bet you're not. We done here? I got another floor to check, man. Check for what? I ain't seen a clicker in weeks. That's because we're thorough. We're going to keep being thorough. Let's wrap this up, right? 
All right, whatever. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Oh my god! Hello, sir. Thank you for not looking in your periphery in any way, shape, or form. Alright, make sure there's nobody else over here. No? Okay, we're good. Hmm. Boy, there's not much to hide behind in here. This is risky. Let's get the old shiny out. Oh boy. Oh god! I'm here! Ellie? Get out of the way, man. That works, though. Hello, sir. Oh, Jesus. You got more friends around here? No? Must be Ellie running around, maybe? Hard to say. Oh shit! Oh my god! Where the hell did he come from? Holy crap! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, that legitimately scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Oh. music still playing so that tells me that there's probably somebody still walking around here somewhere this is the area I came in I think yeah well no I came in from over there because there's that dead guy I hear guys walking around so Oh boy. I'm coming for you. I mean, this guy's just running around. There he is. strategy sir but hey hey you do what you got to do man <sighs> I 
Anybody else over here? Want a piece of this? I'm like in their territory, man. I, I, I can understand why these guys are not happy. Oh, I shot that guy's helmet off, but I didn't kill him. Come on. Damn! There's a goddamn tank. You want? Oh God! Many. Whoa! Where the, where the hell is that guy? Oh shit, he's behind us. Oh my god. Asshole. Ouch. Mm. Oh my god! Joel! Go! Oh, heal, 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 heal! Oh my god! Where'd you go? I'm gonna light. Oh, baby. Combat artist. Oh, gee, another one? Holy shit. I hear him. Dude, there's so many of these guys. Oh shit! How are these guys getting around me? Oh my god! How the hell? Where did that guy come from? The stairs were blocked off. It's fine. No matter. I'm still alive. It's all good. All good. We're fine. A one man army. Oh. This is the song of my people. That was fun. Oh, it lasted. Me eat a can of beans. I don't know about you guys, but when I get shot by shotgun shells, the first thing I want is a can of beans to make me feel better. This is your reminder to hydrate. Thank you. Is this the area? Weren't we already in here? The building looks the same, man. Pretty swanky hotel back in the day. Had HD TV. Scissors on the floor. Jumanji bathroom. Hmm. 
Oddly, this is still charging an extra $40 for Wi-Fi. Yes. And $60 for the faster Wi-Fi. It's amazing to me that hotels these days restrict bandwidth just to, like, charge you more. Like, come on. It's 2021, man. We've moved on. Wi-Fi is cheap. Oh, we got to keep moving up. Nice little balcony area. Pittsburgh seems like a cool city. All right, let's go up. <laughs> Got to go for the tiles first. Bonus points if they have embroidery. Absolutely. Looks like there's a ladder inside this elevator. Hold up, let me try to open it. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Yeah! Hell yeah. Man, his triceps are gonna Let's hurt. Let's see where bad. this goes. Gonna be a tight fit, but just in case. Oh boy. Well, when is ever when is jumping on an elevator ever worked well in video games? Come on, Ellie. Find me something to climb on. Okay, here we go. There we go. So this of all moments, I mean, all right. where to now? Joel staying calm, which is good. This of all moments would be one where I might expect him to possibly panic, not because he's in danger, but because Ellie's alone. You know, notice how he's the one that fell down the elevator shaft. He's the one that got all messed up. His first question is, are you okay to Ellie? Caretaker through and through. But he's staying calm, right? Like, calm people live, tense people die. And we want to live here. We want to get the hell out of here as fast as we possibly can. Uh, this room does not look like a place that I need to be. Underwater with electrical equipment. Uh, it's awful dark, isn't it? Oh, I hate that. That could be it. No, well, let's see if we can get in here. That was very loud. Although, I don't think we're really in that much trouble. This is a of the yet. I haven't heard anything scary. Jesus. Oh boy. All right, here we go. Hold your breath. This is 
Not ideal. That doorway. There's not really any reason why any people would be down here. So far, so good. I think we just gotta get through this maze. The longer we're down here, the more I would expect Joel to start panicking because he's afraid of what's gonna happen to Ellie. Hey, Super Chip. I hope you had fun, buddy. I need to find a way around this gate. I need to find a way around this gate. Uh, easier said than done, Joel. Hmm. Man, this would smell so bad. came up through there, so I can't imagine that it's that way. If I was a way through a gate, what would I be? Hmm. Looks like we might have to go up. Think, Ryan. Think. I don't think through here is the way to do it. Hmm. Nothing in here that's useful. There's not really anywhere else for me to go. And I don't think I can climb this pipe. Hold your breath, you're going down. Am I? Unless I do have to swim under it. Oh yeah, I guess I do. Get out of here. Oh boy. Not good. Why are there this many rats running through here? this a lot I want to get out of here probably go up this ladder or these stairs there we go easy peasy okay don't want to go that way laundry room not my favorite get some pills. Pills are good because I can update my weapons way. Nice and chill. Ellie's going to be okay. She's going to stay where she is. I don't like that noise. I really hope that's not Ellie. I 
I can see, uh, I can see Tyrion Lannister's been here. like we're gonna have to go into that creepy area oh boy where the hell what need key card oh that's fun Come on, what else you got? Anybody got a key card? Anybody? Anybody? card you got one no who the hell has a key card I just killed all of you assholes If I was a key card, where would I be? Oh my god. I hear somebody. Oh, wait, what is this? What is this? Hey! One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Three! Damn it. I want to get out of here. I want to get out of here. Oh, shit! Come at me. Key card? Key card? Anybody got a key card? Anybody? Anybody? Got... Come on, come at me. I'm not even afraid. Come on. Key cards. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I want it, I want it, I want it. I want you to hit me. I want your damn key cards. How does nobody have a key card? I'm getting out of here. I'm a, I'm a brute force it. Jesus, come on. I hear one.
Hey! Hotel key card. Jack Solovinsky. Oh, nice that they have instructions on it. Cool. All right, Jack. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it very much. I'd give the best to your family if I come across. Jack, remember the Solovinskys, okay? We got to make sure we thank them for their service. Couldn't find your keys, Siora. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Thank the heavens. Not so much for that. I gotta find Ellie. We got it. Got it done. I don't really want to take my dear sweet time here, but your boy needs some bullets. Pills. Got a workbench. Not going to worry about the workbench right now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Finish it. Ooh. I got it. Nicely done. You bit? <sighs> Not today. You? Not today. All right. Spread out. Make sure we didn't miss any more of these fuckers. Don't call me fucker. You missed me, though. Yes, sir. You missed me. You're going to wish you got bit. Sorry, brother. You're going to kill me. I don't really want to kill you, but... I don't expect you to show me mercy. Okay. That guy looks a lot like Tommy. Anybody else? There were two of them that came in here. I'm gonna get out of here. Need to find Ellie. I got shit to do. Yeah, it's a little quiet in here, isn't it? Hopefully you don't call out to your friend. Okay, we got two of them. I think we could probably handle two. I got enough bullets. Nice peripheral vision, buddy. <laughs> I choose to believe that because that guy couldn't get vision care, he had really terrible cataracts. Couldn't see me. All right. Imagine needing glasses and they break in the apocalypse. In the apocalypse, yeah, it would be awful. Get out of here. Guess not. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh! oh! Jesus! Shot the hell out of that guy, huh? Yeah, you sure did. I feel sick. And you just hang back like I told you to. 
Well, you're glad I didn't, right? I'm glad I didn't get my head blown off by a goddamn kid. You know what? No. How about, hey, Ellie, I, I know it wasn't easy, but it was either him or me. Thanks for saving my ass. You got anything like that for me, Joel? We gotta get going. Lead the way. I'm not justifying Joel at all here, but I can understand it again. Joel acknowledging that he needs help? No, no, no. Ellie needing to kill that guy to Joel represents another failure on his part. He couldn't keep himself safe enough to be able to get to her and protect her. The fact that she would need to take care of him, oftentimes caregivers will see that as a failure in caregiving, and it's not. He needs to realize that Ellie is not helpless. And she can be protected, and she can protect herself. Something his daughter wasn't able to do. And I think in some ways, seeing a child Ellie's age capable of holding her own, fighting these off, protecting him, is intolerable to him because his daughter couldn't do that. And now here he is being protected by her. She demands thanks. He's going to put distance there. You know, her saving him shows that she has some level of respect and care for him. And I think if he acknowledges that, again, it's too painful. The, the common theme with Joel is that vulnerability is too painful. Now that said, good on Ellie for demanding more from him. Standing up to Joel. That's not something many people do. People who stand up to Joel get hurt. And so the person that is entrusted with being taken care of by Joel standing up to him, I think is huge for Ellie in terms of her standing her ground with how important she is as a person and that she's capable. And I think it's also important from a sense that like, it shows a level of like mutual need for each other. Ellie constantly makes bids for connection with Joel. Joel finds that intolerable. Joel pushes Ellie away. Ellie gets frustrated, but Ellie persists because Ellie has been taken care of her whole life by others, hasn't had to learn to be on her own like Joel has. Joel's too mad at himself for letting Ellie get away in the first place and for failing her by falling down that rainbow shaft. Or the rainbow shaft. Why did I... The, the elevator shaft. To realize that her... Making it back to him and protecting him was actually really cool. And that he could have died there. If you really want to reach into the depths of hypothesis... I actually think there's a chance that Joel might be angry that he survived that. Like if you really want to peel back and go there. Joel, Joel had an opportunity to die there. And in some ways that might actually be easier than living. And so him being protected and then him ending up living there may also rub against some of that survivor's guilt that's way down and repressed in there. Here's yet another instance where I'm alive when I really shouldn't be. I don't know why I said rainbow shaft. It was very weird, but... Yeah, Ellie's understandably going to be hurt by that, right? She's trying to... She's she's basically trying to flex her autonomy and survivability, and Joel just punished it. And I wouldn't blame her if she closes herself off to him. Sarah, the Dexter and Neville to your moms. Don't worry, we take good care of her. Oh, Jesus. Let's get out of here, Ellie.
We need to get back out, find that bridge. Tell me where to go. Uh, I hate this crap. We got shivs in the bathroom. I like finding reading material. I like reading stuff. Hmm. Melee weapons upgraded. The last one hit longer. Cool. Improve durability of bladed tools. Knots. When binding one rigid object to another, the use of proper knots and tying techniques is paramount. One, tie a timber hitch several inches from the tip of the shaft. Figure two, wrap the binding around the shaft at a high tension in a spiral until it's just below the halfway of to the flip. Three, place the blade perpendicular to the shaft. Shaft. Halfway to the hitch and to the top, and we can't read the rest. door looks like a way out. Hey, you see a way to get up there? Nope. I might be able to get there with this. I'm about to drag this piano? Alright. Damn, this is what I thought. <laughs> hey, how about a hand? You sure you can trust me with that? Ellie. No. <sighs> Push. I am. Push harder. There, how's that? Let's go. Man. Notice there, Joel doesn't ask. Well. He asks for help, but only after he tries it himself. Can't bring himself to do it. Just can't can't bring himself to rely on anybody else. Joel relying on others is risky. I survive when we do it my way. Anything else is an unknown variable. Anything cool over here for me? Yes. No, I just want to use this as another opportunity chat to say thank you for being here. I appreciate you very much. If you're watching me on YouTube, thank you for watching my VODs on YouTube. You can catch a compilation of all the tidbits that we have of the psychological concepts on TikTok. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. There. Great ways to keep in touch with the stream and access more content. Stay here. This is so stupid. We'd have more of a fucking chance if you let me help. I am. You seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? Well, I sort of shot a rifle before, but it was at rats. Rats? With BBs. Well, it's the same basic concept. Lift it up. All right, now. You're going to lean right into that stock, because it is going to kick a hell of a lot more than any baby rifle. Okay. Go ahead and pull the bolt back. Grab it right there. Just tug it. Here you go. And as soon as you fire, you're going to want to get another round in there quick. Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah. I got this. All right.
And just so we're clear about back there... It was either him or me. You're welcome. Hey, asshole, should have known better. If you're gonna steal, then you better make sure you get away with it. Right? I would have done. They're all dead! They're all fucking dead! What the hell's he yapping about? Take a breath. Who's dead? The whole crew. The 76 lookout guy. Some fucking tourist killed him. Killed all of them! Shit. Did you talk to the boss? Yeah. He wants everyone to hold their ground. Watch the gate. All right, you heard him. Search the area. Do not let anybody through. Big trust going on right here. He's got to be wrong about the crew being dead. Hugely, there's two hugely vulnerable aspects of that interaction that Joel and Ellie had. The first one is that teaching somebody a skill like that on a one-to-one -one setting, intimate. It's a very, like, fatherly role to take on. And undoubtedly difficult for Joel to do. Second, he's trusting Ellie with his life. He's trusting her to take care of him. Which, again, is pretty remarkable. I think there's some level of access after really reflecting on what happened there. After Joel gets through the intensity of it. The, his endocrine system flushes out a little bit. Prefrontal cortex a little more online. He goes, you know what? Holy shit, she can do this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I can, and I'm gonna I'm gonna trust her here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna build that relationship with her, and I'm gonna teach her how to do it. And you see him get a bit gentle there. And I cannot understate how hard that is for Joel. I'm not trying to give him a gold star for doing the basics. But given what he's been through and what he's learned he needs to do to survive, he deserves some level of credit here. And for that reason, even though he doesn't explicitly say thank you, Ellie knows that what he said was thank you. And that's, I think, in some ways good enough. I, I think asking Joel to go through all of that and then say thank you is asking him to open up way too quickly. We're still seeing him go through the shift of Ellie as cargo to Ellie as person. If she's cargo, she has to be toted around and isn't going to wield a gun. She's, she's a known variable. She becomes a person. She becomes unknown. She becomes a person with a gun. She becomes that much more unknown. So she's proving herself to Joel. He's building a little bit of trust. He's starting to see her as a person. He's going through a whole lot of dissonant thoughts right now. So good on him for taking that and leveraging it into a relationship building moment and in some ways a survival moment. And we'll see what happens here. What if they did? Maybe some military comes back. Don't be an idiot. Boy, Tour doesn't give a damn about this place. Look, if anything, some tourists got lucky. We'll find them. They always do. I hope you're right. Oh boy. Okay. Good. Next. Nice and easy. Nice and methodical. Easy peasy boy. Oh shit. All right, Ellie. Time to help a brother out. I keep doing that. Oh boy. Where did that shot come from? Oh shit. Where is this guy? Oh, oh man. Where are you? I'm gonna check out this area. 
You, go check over there. A guy behind me, yep. Hey, there's coffee on. Uh, no time for this, is no time for coffee. Please be all. I don't think it is. Good time for a candy bar, though. I'm gonna craft me a med kit real quick. Give me two of them, actually. Good shit. Oh, Jesus. Nice shot, Ellie. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Come on, Ellie. Where these guys are there? Come on down. I do. How about something uh, a little more your size? It's for emergencies only. Okay. Trust, baby. Uh, now, the safety zone, uh, do, do you know how to switch it off? I do. Okay, you just, you gotta respect it. This is not a... Joel, I'll be careful. Okay. You can hear the, the fluttering of Joel's voice there. It, it's got a very, I don't know how to do this. It's been a long time since I trusted somebody vibe. Especially a child. He softens. He's a little bit more like you, he loses his confidence in terms of how he's saying. He knows what he's saying is good, but he's not quite sure how to deliver that message. You can hear it. She ain't cargo anymore. She's a girl with potential. And 
young girl with potential is something that is truly going to rub up against some real deep, deep vulnerability because that's all his daughter is anymore, is a image of memories and potential that never got fleshed out. The more capable Ellie is, the more he may have to get right up against the idealizations he has of his daughter. But right now, it seems like the connection he has with Ellie and the building trust and the necessity of that trust is overriding that a little bit. It's allowing Joel to access it. We're seeing him do his best here. Complex stuff, man. Real complex stuff. We're going to see lingering effects of any... Um, of any grief that Joel hasn't really allowed himself to access for a long time. Also, to overanalyze a little bit, we could make the argument that the more situations Ellie survives, the more he has to come to terms with the fact that his daughter did not. That's going to fuel some of that survivor's guilt if he's got it. <clears throat> yes, I will play part two. All right, let's get out of here. Grab this baseball bat and go. Lord knows I'll get more hits than the pirates with it. <clears throat> Come on, Ellie. <laughs> I took that long ass way and could have just walked right through the gate. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Get it together, Ryan. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, Yeah, Luna, if you do that, it's going to get you banned. So right, definitely thing, recommend you don't do it. that. Uh, yes, I am, Ed. Stuck. Uh, Hold on. I am. There. It's good thinking. Oh, he's really going now. Now we get some positive reinforcement. Get a little energy. That's good thinking. Oh, man, Joel. Look at this guy. Look at him go. He sees desirable behavior. He commends it. She's been looking for some form of approval from Joel, and now he's giving it in spades. All right. Uh, let's do this. Help me open this. Here. Got it. And he asks for help? All in one garage? We give her positive reinforcement and openly ask for help? Holy hell. All right. Feels like he's changing too quickly. Um, a near-death experience will do that sometimes. I think. I think something that probably over the twenty years Joel has filed into his mind in terms of how people build respect and trust with him is their survivability factor. I think Ellie killing that guy and saving him earned a lot more respect than Joel is willing to let on initially. And I think that really does move the needle for him in a big way. So when Ellie shows that she can handle her own by not just killing that guy, but killing some of the other guys from that balcony when we trusted her with the gun... Now we're getting into a space where she's got some potential and he's going to really want to try to take care of her. So uh, maybe a little bit quick, but I do think that like he's busted through a couple walls here that I don't know that he can fully go back from.
So maybe a little quick, but also understandable given context. And yeah, see where I think that's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah, is that there is a little bit of a floodgate scenario that can happen here where like you have a real nodal instance that changes the nature of a dynamic between you and another person. She went from being really helpless and, and you know, and just kind of a pain in the ass to a useful utility from a survival standpoint. And survival is all that Joel has known. That's speaking Joel's language. One of the things that I think we tend to do with this game is we think about Ellie. We think about speaking Ellie's language. What does she need? She needs warmth. She needs reliability. She needs good responses from Joel. We don't think about what Joel's language is. Joel's language is, can you help me live? Can we survive? And Ellie's speaking a little bit of Joel's language in these moments. Here we go. Is Joel creating his clone? This should help us out. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh shit, get down, get down. Joel's affected by it too, man. He's seen some shit. But, I mean, that's basically a human life reduced to supplies, right? They kill the woman, she has no supplies, they just leave her to die and roll away. Jeez. It's almost like we turn into animals when we're hyper-threatened by stuff. Because we are animals. Yeah, there better have been an army in that truck. How the fuck did they wipe out the entire crew? Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, don't kill me, man. Please, please. Please, let me go. Oh, really? After you were trying to kill me? I don't trust you at all, man. I'm sorry. I just watched what your what your compadres did. No mercy, man. Can't risk it. I got the cure for humanity with me. Right, we're getting close, man. Bridges, bridges, right there. Controls, is there a button for the curb stomp or you just press a button for defense and Joel does whatever? Joel does whatever. I'm not choosing the curb stomp. Oh my god, really? What about Marcus Street? Yeah, they're driving through that area now. 
I pray to God these tourists are this thing. Fuck, they gotta show up somewhere. I think this will be your lucky day. Nope, you ain't using that bat on me, brother. No, sir. Some of those guys have ammo on them. We got trip mines over here. I mean, I guess these guys have a helmet, have helmets on, but yeah, taking a. Some good shots in there. Mob attack note. October 10th. I just walked I just watched a mob douse Captain Mastros and the rest of my team in gasoline and burn them alive. The animals were actually celebrating. Some old fucker complained it was a waste of gasoline. There were too many of them. All I could do was slip away, but I'll remember all their faces. Gonna hurt each one of them down or gonna hunt each one of them down if I have to. Damn, man. Got some real serious shit going on. Oof. Alright, let's check the convenience store real quick. Would love it if there was some bullets and supplies. We got supplies, no bullets. Make myself a. Oh, I already have a med pack. All right. Oh, let's go. Getting late. Damn, is that a tank? Holy shit! No hope. Lost. Jeez. Oof. Boy, we're really seeing some shit, aren't we? Yeah, there we go. Shotgun bullets. I like to see their shells, I guess. Not bullets. The gun aficionado is watching. I know the difference. Can of beans? Shit. 
truck note. We finished scouring the city for any survivors. There were a handful of soldiers hiding in the hotel. We took care of them. A bunch of us raided their stockade, or what was left of it. Most of the big machines got fucked up in the fighting. We won't be riding on a tank anytime soon. Likewise, none of the heavy artillery is salvageable. The one exception is the Humvee. We managed to repair it, including the 50 cal mounted gun. This thing is impenetrable. I'd like to see somebody fuck with us now. Oh, God. Uh, well, let's hope that that's not foreshadowing, because that would really suck if we have to fight a 50 cal. Yeah, come here, Ellie. Uh, I don't really understand that question, Baron. We're almost there. Come on. I've been doing a lot of walking today, Ellie. I stayed at a place like this, back in the Boston QZ. Military preparatory school. <laughs> yeah, nice way of saying orphanage. I wonder what happened to all these kids. Well, this place has been out for a good stretch. They ain't kids no more. Meaning they're either hunters trying to kill us, or they're dead. Or they got away. But you don't believe that. I believe in getting out of this city. Come on. He's warming up. Well, we've said that a lot, but it's definitely apparent. Dawn of the Wolf Part 2. Hey, there's another one. Another what? Those posters are everywhere. I saw this right before the outbreak. You did? Is he totally gutter by the end? <laughs> Nobody gets gutted. It's a, it's a dumb teen movie. Who dragged you to see it, then? I don't know. Let's just stay focused, all right? All right. That was very perceptive, Ellie. He ain't going there. No way. Not yet. Any expectation that Joel is going to say his daughter there, I think is really a lack of understanding of Joel. There's no way he goes there. No way. Joel can't be thinking about his daughter right now. Not in that kind of way. And especially not disclosing it to Ellie. He didn't go harsh. Hey, but he also didn't... He's still not very forthcoming. And I can't say I blame fucking him. Truck. That's alright. Just keep your head down. Saved your ass from that clicker last week. I think I should let your ass die back there. I'll make you some of the shit you need. It'll be as good as you say it is. Thank you. No bacon for you, sir. Look how look how non-perceptive that guy is. His buddy's getting choked out, and he's just like not paying attention.
No bacon for you. Shotgun bullets and prepared shells. I'm good with that. Uh, this truck makes me nervous, man. Look at that thing. Holy shit. Run. What are you doing? Why would you open fire on that guy? Oh my god. Some kind of military. Stay down. Oh my god. I hate this angle. Nice and easy. I feel like that thing would, a 50 cal would rip through that police car. Oh man, do I just run? Do we just go? Punch that guy just threw. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, yes, Floaty. Oh, boy. Go, go, go. We are way too exposed. Let's go. Oh 
god. We're okay. They can't see us. Take it easy. It's all right. They're not the bad guys. L lower the gun. Man, you hit hard. Man, well, I was <laughs> trying to kill you. Yeah, I thought you were one of them, too. Then I saw you. If you haven't noticed, they don't keep kids around. Survival of the fittest. You're bleeding. Ah, it's just nothing. I'm Henry. This is Sam. I think I caught your name was Joel. Ellie. How many are with you? They're all dead. Hey, we don't know that. There were a bunch of us. Someone had the brilliant idea of entering the city, look for supplies. Those fuckers, they ambushed us, <clears throat> scattered us. Now it's all about getting out of this shithole. We can help each other. Ellie. Safety in numbers and all that. She's right. We could help each other. We got a hideout not too far from here. Be safer if we chat there. All right, take us there. Follow me. Sorry about the whole gun thing. Don't worry. I would have probably done the same thing. Where are you from? All the way from Hartford. Really? I heard some bad stuff going on down there. Yeah, the military abandoned his army. That's why we left. The place probably looks like this by now. All right. So we got some new folks. Uh, you can see... I mean, Ellie disclosing her name is a little bit of a... Yikes. In the sense that, like, Joel obviously wouldn't want her to identify herself, but she did, and I suppose it's a way to build trust. We gotta be careful. Ellie seems to be quick to trust. Joel is not. But these guys seem to be in a similar mode. A little Easter egg here for those of you that are Naughty Dog fans. A uh, little Easter egg here for Pepper fans. Maltov's upgraded. Deployment. In any incendiary device, proper construction is important to ensure proper detonation. Soak the wick in oil or fat. The oil will stop your... Will stop vapor escaping container and retain something inside the device. Tie a wide knot at the base, the wick, and force into bottle. This ensures the gas light fitting into secures the wick in flight. Leave a small air bubble at the top of the bottle. This will aid in distributing the force upon impact. Good to know. Yeah, pretty cool that Ellie's going to have somebody her age with us. I think that's cool. Man, this is a very lived-in house. All right, where are we going, fellas? We got to be careful. We're right next to one of their lookout areas. This is just you and your daughter. We're not related. We're more like, um... I promised someone I'd look after. Yeah, I can appreciate that. Oh. He doesn't know. He has no reason to know, man. It's a very valid question. Joel's got to be ready for that shit running around with Ellie. Sweet. Oh, baby. Look at this. Look how intact this apartment is. Oh, baby. Let's go. Look at that TV. You all remember these? I had a friend who had one of these. Oh, man. 
Back in the day, those were... Oh, man. They weigh like a bazillion pounds. Ellie. I think I found another one of them comics you've been reading. Savage Starlight. Deep phase. So far, Daniela's phase shift device has kept the Von Neumann and its crew invisible to the Traveler's sensor network. But as each zero-point jump brings them ever deeper into the vast interstellar empire, hopes for the return journey dwindle. In three days, they've traveled a quarter of the galactic radius, and in two more, they will be at the Traveler homeworld, as long as nothing goes wrong. Nice. What a cool room. Look at all that. Look at all this art that so many people probably just blew through this game and didn't appreciate. Man. I have no idea, Floaty. If that's real or not. Alright, let's build a shiv real quick. Actually, let's go... Build two shivs. Ships are key, baby. It almost seems like he recognizes that this scenario is more comfortable for Ellie than it is him, and he isn't jumping to answer their questions first and goes along with what Ellie's telling them. Kind of, kind of neat. An interesting perspective on that. Him allowing Ellie to take a little bit of the lead. That's a lot of trust. All right, Henry. Sam, where are we going? Choo choo toys. Oh, neat. Wait, wait. Everyone be quiet. Get away from the windows. This Joel moves closer to the window. <sighs> Be're gone. Man, that fucking truck. It's been hounding us ever since we got in this damn. Sam, what are you doing? Nothing. Get rid of it. My backpack is practically empty. What's the rule about taking stuff? It weighs like nothing. The rule? What is it? We only take what we have to. That's right. Now, come on. God, it would suck to be a kid growing Where up in this. this place. We're close. Real close. Anything good in here? Shit. What'd you find? Ellie. Nothing. You watch our back. Looks like someone was up there, Sam, but they're long gone. Stay with her. So where are the others? They wanted to give it another once over. Make sure we didn't miss anything. All right. Keep an eye out over there. I'll check this area. I'm going this way. Go check over that way. Thank you for telling us exactly what you're doing. I ain't waiting around. Taking control of this engagement. We did it. Not bad, old timer. Thanks, man. Would rather you didn't call me that, but. Come on. Up on the I guess it's true. Where are we going? 
one? Oh, up on the truck? Okay. You drop anything good? No? Let's go, baby. Shooting like I'm from Texas, baby. Through this door. You sure it's safe, being so close to them? I'm the only one with the key, man. And where'd you get that? I killed one of them. He won't miss it now. Everybody through. Oh, you're 14, huh? I'm close. <laughs> All right. I am. <laughs> the first girl his age he's seen in a while. Way to go, man. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, you're 14, huh? <laughs> oh, man. To be a teenage boy. Oh, I probably would have said the same thing. Here we are. All right, let me just make sure I got everything into the office. Let's do it. Welcome to my office. How long have you guys been holed up in here? A few days. We found a bit of food though. Here. Blueberries. Found a whole stash of them. You want some? No. Hey, man, relax. We're safe. So why haven't you left? Been waiting for the right opportunity. And? Here. Check this out. Look at these sons of bitches. Every day they congregate down there. Guarding that damn bridge. Come nighttime, it's down to a skeleton crew. After sunset, that's our window. Most of them gone, sneak right past them. That could work. No, oh, it'll work. It'll definitely work. <laughs> wow. Oh Alright, ready? Oh. Ow! <laughs> a blueberry hurt you? It's been a while since that boy even cracked a smile. She doesn't seem bothered by all this. So where were you heading? I heard the Fireflies are based in the west somewhere. We're gonna join up with them. Yeah. Something funny? Oh, it just seems like there's a lot of people putting their stock on the Fireflies these days. Yeah, maybe there's a reason for that. So you don't know where they are, and you're just gonna drag him across the country to find him? I tell you what. How about I worry about my brother, you worry about your girl. Easy. We're looking for the fireflies, too. <sighs> this is us. There's an abandoned military radio station just outside the city. Any survivors from our group, they're supposed to meet us there tomorrow. You and your girl, you want to join us. It goes down tonight. I guess we best rest up then. He says it's time to go. Be moving fast, okay? So no matter what, you stick to me like glue. Like glue. Like glue. Got it. Good. Good. All right. Y'all ready? 
Yeah. Okay. Hey, y'all stay close, okay? You try.